As I discussed yesterday in the program, President Biden issued his first veto this week, striking down a bipartisan bill that would put the fiduciary responsibility of financial managers of retirement accounts ahead of the woke agenda of the left. Now, of course, the backdrop, we're also seeing major banks kind of in troubled waters. Inflation continues to soar. But the president is focused on ESG investing. Now, today, as we mentioned uh, top of the program, the Federal Reserve continues to address inflation fueled by government spending. Today, they announced they're raising interest rates an additional 25 basis, basis points, which is a quarter of a percent. Now, how will this affect our economy and the banking system in the coming days? And how might this inform what Republicans do when it comes to budget negotiations and the debt ceiling? Joining me now to discuss this is Congressman Buddy Carter. He serves on the House Budget Committee and on the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. He represents Georgia's first congressional district. Congressman Carter, welcome back to the program. Thank you for having me, Tony. So, Congressman, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna jump right into this, Congressman. Um, how tone deaf is the president in the current economic landscape where people are having difficulty putting gas in their cars, concerned about their future, and he's focused on this left-wing agenda about ESG. Well, you're absolutely right. He just doesn't get it. I mean, he's more concerned about woke than he is about the workforce. I mean, let's face it, now we've got 6% interest rates. Young people can't buy homes at 6% interest rates. I mean, you, you can't open up a new business with interest rates higher here than they are in China. And, and, you know, we can't depend on Social Security. We don't know how much longer it's going to be there. And yet this president is completely tone deaf. He does not understand what's going on. I've been in the district the last, the last week and a half, and I will tell you, people are concerned. People are hurting. This is real, and, it, it, and it's impacting them. The high interest rates and inflation, all of this in combination are really, really hurting people. So, Congressman Carter, today the Federal Reserve announcing another quarter of percent rate hike, uh, giving us, I think, the highest interest rates to, to, since uh, 2007. But they did say, you know, we're not going to talk about being aggressive because of what's happening with the banking system. Obviously, the, the uh, money supply kind of tightening. How, how do you see Congress going forward in this in this situation when it comes to the upcoming debt ceiling, when it comes to budgeting. You know, some are saying, well, maybe the Republicans won't play uh, as hard-nosed on this because they don't want to rock the boat any further. Um, you just came out of an issues uh, a retreat. I'm sure this was discussed. What is the way forward, according to Republicans? Well, first of all, as far as the Fed in, increasing the interest rates, you know, they were between a rock and a hard place. I mean, they, they either had to, to show a lack of confidence in the banking system or they had to it led to go unchecked. Uh, you know, there was no case here. I wish they had not gone up on the interest rate, and I hope that they will slow down because we need to slow down. The interest rates are too high right now. I get it. I understand we need to get inflation under check. But the reason... The reason that we had the failure of the Silicon Valley Bank is, is because of the policies of this administration, because uh, inflation is so high. Inflation is high, which has caused the, the problems in the banking system right now. Now, granted, with the Silicon Valley Bank, I think that was an isolated incident. Uh, I don't think it's systemic. And there, uh, the, the leadership of that bank needs to be held accountable, as does the San Francisco Federal Reserve. Where were they at? Why weren't they... Uh, paying attention. They were asleep at the wheel. This should have never happened in this case. But what are we going to do in Congress? Well, first of all, the debt ceiling is up next, and I can assure you we are going to demand, and we have to have a stop in this out-of-control spending. It's the out-of-control spending that has got us into the mess with inflation that we're into right now. Right. There's been too much money out there, and that's what we're going to demand is that we control the spending by this administration. Yeah, and I'm sure you recall the president uh, last year saying that, uh, oh, this is this inflation, it's, it's fleeting, it's short-lived, it's not going to last long. The president hasn't gotten it right on one economic issue. He's been wrong every time. Every time. That's why we in the Republican Party and the Republican majority in the House, we understand it's our responsibility to make sure that we get this ship straight. 
that we, we get it back on course. And, and that's our economy. We've got to get it back on course. And the way you do that is to stop the out of control spending. And that's what we're going to demand in the debt ceiling negotiations. Let me ask you this question. I've talked to a few members this week coming out of the, the issues retreat. From your perspective, you're on one of the key kit committees here. How united are Republicans in fighting this battle when it comes to government spending? I think we're very united. I think everyone in our conference understands the importance of, of, uh, of, of controlling the spending. I think everyone understands the fact that this president has submitted a budget. Right now, the federal government is spending a dollar and 29 cent for every dollar in revenue that they take in. Under this president's proposed budget, that would increase to a dollar and 34 cent for every dollar that we bring in. That's not sustainable. Right. I mean, you know, most members of Congress have business experience and they get it. They understand. You can't balance a, a, a home budget on that. People in America can't do that. Right. Why is it the federal government thinks that they can do that? Extremely important point and a, and a question to ask the president and his party. Congressman Buddy Carter, always great to see you. Thanks so much for uh, joining us today. Thank you.